Hi, welcome to Craft Little Things. I'm Andrew. Thanks for joining me today. This is number five in my Afternoon Delights series. Um, and what the Afternoon Delights are, I explain more about why I'm doing it yes in yesterday's project. So look at number four. Um, but basically at 2 p.m. every afternoon, UK time, I'm uploading a really quick, simple card tutorial. Um, and I'm calling the series Afternoon Delights and there's going to be seven of them and then I'm probably going to have a break for a week and then I'm going to do another seven. So, um, this is today's. Um, yesterday's was this one, which was a cute little um, card for a little girl or a lady. And today's is a much brighter. Um, I'm using this piece of scrap card actually. So this is a piece of lemon lime twist which measured 11 inches by 4 and 1 8 of an inch. So that's 28 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres. And then I just folded it in half and burnished it, the score line there. So that would be at 14 centimetres. I think yeah then I've got a piece of this lovely DSP um, with the purple and green there the lime green um, in stamping up terms this is called lemon lime twist and this is called fresh fig but to you it's purple and green um, and it's five it's five and an eighth by three and seven eighths um, in dimensions <laughs> Um, so that's 13 by 9.8 centimetres and then on top of that I've got a piece of whisper white which did measure um, seven, 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and a quarter which is 9.8 centimetres by 8.3 centimetres but then I used this edging frame that to just create this lovely scallop stitched edge on the card and I just sort of laid it randomly across on an angle. If you want the exact measurements I had one side so that the scallop, the, so that the stitch was at two inches that's five centimetres and on the other side I had it so that the scallop was at three inches which is 7.6 centimetres. So here the stitched line is at two inches and three inches if you want to get it exact. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of this Fresh Fig um, Classic Weave rib Ribbon which unfortunately um, isn't available from Stampin' Up! anymore. I've just, I, I hadn't really noticed but last year they went crazy on ribbons and this year they seem to have just cut right back on ribbon. Um, so yeah, the in colour ribbons are not, they're available in like the ruched ribbon but they're not really available in anything else and these are so gorgeous these close weave ribbons if anybody's got any and they want to sell them let me know because I love this ribbon in all the in colours especially lemon lime twist and this fresh fig so then I use fresh fig cardstock some scraps and I use the tailored tag punch to punch out two and then I use sentiment from um This is a sentiment from Accented Blooms and I didn't want to use one of these big ones. I wanted it to be so that it could be used for anything really for the card. It could be used for an anniversary card or a birthday card, a wedding or anything. So big ways, small ways, love you always. Thought that was really cute and I stamped that. I tried doing it in Lemon Lime Twist but it didn't look good so I did it in Fresh Fig onto white and stamped it with punch again and that's all there is to this card so first things first is to just put some Tombow on the back of here or some um, if you want to use snail or tape whatever you want to use and pop that onto the base You know that just looks lovely as it is. 
see how simple you can make if you look how easy you can make a card I mean that just looks gorgeous as it is doesn't it but I'm going to add this ribbon what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some glue across across there about I don't know about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom I've got to keep them quite simple and even where um, because um, if you look at the video yesterday it'll explain why and even where I'm using ribbon on some of them I'll probably end up swapping that out for a strip of cardstock and some of my patterns I might end up um, printing myself um, to get the quantities I'm going to need so I'm just going to put some glue on half of the tag and put those two together this is what I love about this tag that it makes it so easy for you to make a base for yourself because it just slots together so nicely and then I'm just going to pop that I was going to pop it in the middle but I think I'm going to pop it sort of off to the side a bit like that and then I'm going to use dimensionals and again when I'm doing the final versions I might end up changing from um, dimensionals to just sticking everything down because I'm going to have to make big quantities okay. so the easier it is for me to do the better and that's it and I'm just going to leave that blank um, you might think that it could do with something in there but I'm just going to leave it like that I couldn't I'm not even going to I was thinking of maybe putting a piece of ribbon there but I'm not going to do that because that's just going to um, detract from the simplicity of it okay so that's it that's yesterday's and today's and the other three three days are I don't know where they are I must have taken them for photographing or something um, oh I know what I did I put them in my concertina box so that's where they are at the moment so thanks for watching and um, join me again tomorrow for another afternoon delight if you subscribe then you won't miss them when they come up because You'll probably, I don't know, you don't get notified, do you? You don't want notifications popping up. I mean, if you don't mind notifications, you can always pop. I think there's a little bell or something you press to get notifications. But um, I don't think I'd want notifications popping up all the time. So that's uh, number four and number five. And so there's two more to go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.